Welcome back everybody. Here with Nancy and she's just stoking the fire. Yeah, I'm just, uh, this is, by the way, the first time uh, trying to do this, never done this before, so I'm just trying to create a cooking surface. Realized we had way too much wood in there. And uh, I got this cast iron pot, which I'll show you when we're ready for that. Um, for my birthday just a couple weeks ago, so this is the first time trying it, so I'm super excited about that. And uh, we'll see how this keto lasagna turns out uh, over the open fire in a cast iron Dutch oven. Nice, I can't wait. Here goes nothing. Here's the new pot. Just gonna set it on to heat up. Once that's heated up, I'm gonna put a bit of oil in. As the dogs fight yep. in the background, which is always the case. Love it. And. Uh, Anyways, this is a little pot lifter that this came with. So I'm just heating that up inside. And then once it's warmed up here, I'll uh, put oil in. We're going to fry up some hamburger. And uh, I already parboiled some cabbage. I uh, didn't want to show that boring aspect of boiling a bit of cabbage. And so it's going to be a cabbage keto lasagna. Gonna ricotta, mozzarella, a cabbage spinach. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the ingredients. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll get a bit of water so I can tell when it's heated up inside here. Not quite, there's a bit of rain and it's not uh, sizzling yet, so it's not quite warm. And we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, this should be heated up. I'm gonna take this off and uh, add a bit of oil. See, it's a little uneven on the angle there, but that's all right. So we're gonna go with some hamburger, some ground beef. Ooh, she's sizzling. Maybe a little hotter than I'd like. I've already learned that this is far too hot of a fire, <laughs> so we may have to be creative and bring it in and out of the heat, and wait for things to die down a bit more. It's good for browning the meat though. Perfect. So that's just going to go for a minute or two here. I'm going to go... Uh, Let that continue to brown up, and then uh, add some garlic and salt and pepper, and uh, we'll come back once uh, I've added in the sauce. Browning up beautifully. Add in some pasta sauce. We could make our own, but we were feeling lazy, and uh, this has a pretty low carb count. It's a classical. They're four cheese one. I'm gonna add a bit of this in here, and then I'll add a bit of water as well in a minute. I'm gonna put about half a jar in there. Quite hot. 
cut. So I'm actually going to whisk it back off again and then uh, add some water off the heat. And uh, then that'll come off and I'll start constructing it. So I'm just going to whisk this off onto the ground. Plenty of residual heat to keep that cooking and heat it. And uh, now I'll add some water and then we'll start constructing it. And uh, we'll see it how it's doing from there. Okay, so we put a little bit more sauce on that last layer of cabbage. Added a bunch of mozzarella cheese. Put the lid on now. And then I'm going to put some of these coals up on top so it gets heat coming at it from all angles brilliant <laughs> yeah that should do it and then I'll put this down keep these burning down here around it We'll see how this goes. And how long do you intend to keep I that in there? I think we'll uh, check it in about 20 minutes and see how it's doing. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to lift the lid off here if I get the right tool. And uh, see how things are going in here. It's looking good. Wow. Let me just get it. It's a little bit watery, but. Wow. I might actually leave the lid off a touch just to let some of that moisture out. But it's looking good and it's smelling good. So I'm just going to back things up here a bit. It's plenty hot enough. I was worried it wouldn't be hot enough, but it certainly is. Just gonna let some of that steam out of there and then hopefully uh, put some really hot coals on at the end on the top and maybe it'll brown up. Not sure. But uh, we'll check it again in another probably uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so it's. Let's see what's happening in here. So it's starting to come up the sides a bit. It's a little bit watery, but um, I think I'm gonna. Put a lot of hot coals on top and see if we can get that center uh, cooked up nice. Maybe might even gold get browned a bit. So I'm going to add some more hotter pieces on top here. Oops. Reckless. <laughs> and, uh, we can get it to stay there. Okay, and then we'll, I think we'll give it another uh, maybe 15 minutes. And it should be getting closer to done. See you in 15. All right, now has come the time. I'm going to check and see. We're done. Get as much of that off as I can. We'll check it here. Wow. Wow. Looks perfect. Okay, so I'm going to now... Uh, lift this off and uh, I think I'll take the lid off and let it cool down for a little while. Wow, looks delicious. 
Okay, we're gonna let that sit, cool down a bit, and we'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can uh, cut this up. <laughs> Let's make him out not great, but here goes. It's pretty good, a bit messy. Mm. I shouldn't have put the water in. I was thinking of when I normally use those oven baked noodles. Um, but I think we'll start with that. And I'm going to taste test it here. Maybe I'll let Karen taste test it. Yes, please. Piece of some good cheese. Zoom in on that. Is it really yeah. hot? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, I'll blow on it for you. <laughs> hot stuff. Oh my goodness. So, shout out to my best friend, Tam. Mm. Who played me this Dutch oven. Our first time trying it. I think it's a big okay. success. And, uh, I hope you'll uh, join us next time uh, I cook something here at the cabin. Great. And um, thanks for joining us. And uh, the cabin is calling, and so is the food. So we're out of here. And uh, stay safe. Stay golden.